Praise the Lord. Hey, the mic's on. I'm ready to go. Amen. Good presence of the Lord in the place. I'm just going to speak for five minutes. That should make everybody relaxed and calm. We'll talk about the first Passover. We'll talk about Egypt. Egypt was a type of sin. When they came out of Egypt, they were delivered out of Egypt. It was a type and a shadow of when we are delivered out of sin. Our life is sin. I'm going to talk about that for a minute. You may be seated. In Exodus chapter 12, it starts off that the Lord spake to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt. So they, it's a type of sin. They were in the land of Egypt. He says, speak unto the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of the month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, What's the lamb? That's Jesus. That's the word of God. According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. This has been taught many times. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let his neighbor next to him, to his house, take it according to the number of souls. I love the King James. because We're talking about salvation here. Souls. Every man according to his eating. So it's to be portioned. In fact, there were rules about how the lamb was supposed to be portioned out. The scripture calls it rightly dividing the word. And we see it right here. According to his eating. Here's where it gets interesting. And they shall take the blood and strike it on the two posts and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat. What was that for? It was to stop the death angel from killing their firstborn. Isaiah made a comment one time. He said, those who are in the valley of the shadow of death have seen a great light. He was talking about the Gentiles and how we would see Christ as our Messiah. Now watch, this is something I've never seen before. And God started telling me about this at about 3.30 this morning. Amen. Thank he doesn't always keep my time schedule. I try to talk to him about that. Verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roast it with fire and unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Check it out. Not raw, nor sodden with water. Not boiled in water. Don't water down this message. So exactly it. But what? Roast it with fire. This is what God told me. He said, every house. I really believe this came straight from the Lord. I've never heard this in my life. Every house where the children and the family was saved were on fire. They had a fire burning in their house. Amen. It's, it was it's just beautiful. He, he, their, their neighbors, if they got it, it's because of the fire. And it was, and I, it was just so exciting because I began to realize what God was saying. And, and then he showed me something. He said, a lot of people will go home from service and they'll have the blood on their doorpost, but no fire in their house. You know, we, 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 in other words, they were able to escape the angel of death, but they weren't able to escape Egypt. You had to have the fire and the lamb to escape Egypt. You had to rightly divide the word of God, understand salvation, and be on the fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the word of God to escape Egypt. And so this is why a lot of times we wrestle with sin and we wrestle with our flesh. It's because we haven't actually escaped Egypt yet. We need to be on fire. There's going to come a time that if you're not on fire, the scripture says that it would come a time when if it was able, the very elect would be deceived. And you have to realize that there's coming a time when you're going to want to be on fire. I remember when I was a kid, I was on fire for God. I didn't fit in the world, and I didn't fit in the church. They all thought I was kooky. But let me tell you something that did happen. And if my wife was here, she would testify to that. When you are on fire for God, guess who does see it? Not, I'm not talking about him. The lost that are hungry. Suddenly... It doesn't matter. It, nobody else matters but the lost. You begin to see them, and they begin to see you. They actually start seeing Jesus in you because that is what they're looking for. A lot of times we pound the pavement, pound the ground, asking God for revival, revival, revival. And he is saying, get on fire. Heat, heat it up. Get on fire for me, and I will bring them to you. I will show them you. You will talk to them, and he will give you gifts of the Spirit to minister to these people. God bless you.